Borja. Okay. Uh, good morning, everyone. Today, our first case is a 65 years old man has medical history. Uh, the patient has hypertension, rheumatoid arthritis, and is currently undergoing treatment with hormone therapy for prostate cancer. As a cardiology history, paroxysmal non-valvular atrial fibrillation under treatment with flecainide is In August 2022, he suffered an intracranial hemorrhage while being uh, treated with apixaban. He was referred to our center for atrial appendix closure. The analysis are normal. The electrocardiogram is in sinus rhythm with narrow QRS, and the current treatment for him is bisoprolol, prednisone, flecainide, and amlodipine. Today, we perform closure of the left atrial appendix guided by a transesophageal echocardiogram. It should be noted that in our center, uh, the echocardiogram is performed 24-48 uh, hours uh, prior to the procedure. In this case, uh, we have done it today and the presence of thrombus has been rolled out. Okay, you got it, Borja? Yes. So, as Borja said, uh, we usually perform an, an echocardiogram at the, the day before just to rule out the presence of, of thrombus. In this case, the, the patient has some um, uh, difficulties in mobility, so we uh, decided to perform the TE right now in the CAT lab. So now Leo is, is going to explain you the image we have st uh, stored before. Leo, please. Okay. Well, we, ha we had passed uh, through the sept interatrial septum um, here. Oh, let me see one second. So the the function was uh, done in a well. Let's show us better in in the live because it doesn't see well over there. So um, put the yes. Okay, it was a puncture done in a mid uh, position uh, anteroposteriorly, and with uh, was done a little bit uh, posterior in the anteroposterior uh, view. Uh, because it has uh, in the interatrial septum a little bit thicker around the posterior zone, so we, we choose a, a little bit uh, medial uh, uh, position. Okay, thank you. So we, we now pass the, the, the guide and, and a pigtail to the to the, to the atrial appendage. Uh, we can see now it's, a, it's an appendage that is uh, kind of small, uh, but has a, a little lobe uh, we have measured now uh, without uh, the contrast, but uh, it measures around uh, 19 millimeters approximately in AP dim dimension. Okay, thank you, Leo. So, as, as Leo said, we have ruled out the presence of thrombus. We uh, have prepared, just in case, a three ward system to protect the uh, the embolic uh, complications, but we are not using it because of, of the absence of thrombus. So mm. we did the, 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 the setup is a femoral access. We have prepared a, a preclosure with a proglide. Um, the patient is intubated, uh, and, and now we are uh, after the transeptal puncture that is uh, posterior and cold, a little bit colder. We have entered without any difficulties in the left atrial appendage, and we are going and to perform some angios uh, and to fill in the, the appendage and measure properly the dimensions. So, test please. Here. Yes, can see. Yes. We are doing the caudal projection. It's 15. Okay. Probably it's better. Just like that. Yes. Uh, okay. Okay. You know. Vamos ahora al otro lado. Cuidado, Jesús, que voy a la cráneo. Da un poquito más, dame 20. Tienes que bajar el brazo, tío. Si no, no puedo. 30 de oblicuo, 10 de. Cuidado con aquellas bombas. So we are doing the cranial projection. It's more or less like that. And I can move the. Ok, there. Muévelo abajo. ¿Tiene? Muévelo directamente aquí. Ok. We are repeating the measurements okay. in the echo just to check if the dimensions change after filling the, the appendage. And we are also measuring the angio, but to be honest, we usually trust in the 3D echo as is the, the, the best uh, measurement. So 
as you can see in the Anjo and also in the Echo, that is a, a radiolucent image, but we have dis discarded that this corresponds uh, a thrombus, probably some uh, pectinous muscle there. The initial measurements of the appendage before filling it uh, are 13 by 13. Um, but we are going to check again just to uh, select the correct uh, device and, and, and sheath. We are using an amulet device from, from Abbott company. That is the, the one uh, with, uh, we have more experience here. You know, it's a, a, a device with a disc and, an, and a level, so they are working with a 3D echo, as you are seeing in the, in the screen. Of course, we completed the heparin 100 units per kilogram after completing the, the um, transeptal puncture. As we have explained in previous cases, we administer uh, a little bit of heparin. Uh, in this case, uh, 20 units per kilogram before the, the transeptal puncture, just for uh, being more safe uh, in terms of thrombus complications before that. What do you think, Leo? We're going to measure because it has a, a little lobe over here. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's uh, I think... This point with the mouse because people is not seeing your finger. Ah, sorry. <laughs> ah. Okay. Here. So this is this is the diameter, the 3D diameter. The same as the bigger one. Uh, it's, so it's bigger than before? Yes. As in large, um, with a, with a contrast injection, mm. and also uh, measuring that that side that, that has mm. this this probably a different point because here percussion. in the Anjo it seems to be bigger than 13. Yeah, uh, but let's check it perfectly. We are now in sinus rhythm, and the the appendage has some compression, so we have to take into account this this fact to, to choose if we are between two sizes. I think I think it's it's bigger. Yeah? So measuring. It's... Take your time because it's the most important part of the. Yeah. It's around mm, nineteen twenty in the in this projection. It's around 90 by 17. Or yeah, 20 by 17, 19 by 17. I see 2, D3, okay. Yeah. Uh, 20 by 17. Yeah. Dr. Galeote is measuring, is measuring the, the angio as well to have all the, all the measurements and to be as accurate as we can with the selection of the device. As you know, some, some teams are doing this kind of procedures without general anesthesia, but we here have a very good relationship with the team and we are very comfortable with this uh, setup because we can focus on the patient, the, the appendage and the, and the procedure. And our colleagues are taking care of the hemodynamics and the respiratory state and also anticoagulation. So after these measurements, we are going to advance an extra support wire, long wire through the pigtail to maintain it into the into the appendage. Sometimes, especially in cases of thrombus, we advance the the this wire to the upper uh, superior uh, pulmonary vein, just to not not to touch any thrombus in the appendage. But in this case, we we prefer to do the, like this. Como vais, Borja? 
here, he Borja and Guillermo, the measurements uh, have increased. Now the measurements by 3D echo are 20 by 17. 16 millimeters. 16. Which is the measurement in echo? 20 by 17. So they are they are looking for the recommendations. Yeah. We have a, a famous table here that has been performed by one friend of us, Xavi Fraser, yeah. and we follow his rules. Yeah. He's a, a big, big expert in, in these procedures. 20? By uh, 17. By 15. As you see, the controversial point here is that the measurements now are uh, very, very different from the initial uh, measurements. And we have measured this, Leo, at 10 millimeters from the ostium, no? Sí, si quieres, lo medimos otra vez. Pero... Sí, no es muy grande. O sea que eso es el landing, ¿no? O sea, 10 milímetros de los tíos. Claro. We are checking these measurements are in the landing zone, uh, 10 milímetros in length from the ostium of the appendage. As there are some different important differences in between the initial measurements and and the current ones we are checking it again the 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 reasonable thing is that after injection with the pigtail the appendix increase its size but this increasing is uh pretty significant so we are checking again El ángel que te sale. ¿Mm? Un diámetro de 15. ¿Y el otro? El otro no lo hemos medido porque no nos. No, no lo. Borja, haré la otra proyección en diámetro, pero en la zona de la PIN. No, pero esta, esta no. La otra proyección no. en la zona de la PIN. La, la longitud ah, no es la igual. Tiene una zona que es una zona más estrecha. Mira, Guillermo, look here. There are two two areas that increase the size and, and, a, and a neck and a cuello in medio, ¿no? So a, uh, a little neck we want here. to land before the neck. Yeah, that's it. So if if we take this 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 measurement is is smaller, but just a little bit that is it increases a yeah. by significant amount. In the angle, we have 15 by 14, so similar than the initial measurements in the 3D echo. Let's measure here. Maybe so the, the measure... We are, we are here in the neck, so yeah. I guess... It's que varía varía muchísimo justo ahí. This is a circ. Aproximadamente este sería el ostium, pues más o menos. Esos son 10 milímetros, ¿no? Sí, sí, claro. Ahí está perfecto. Yo creo que está. Sí, sí. Vamos a medirlo. Ok. Let's check again. <coughs> it looks smaller there. Eh, 17, 18, ¿no? 18. Or mm, 
probably this measure is is more accurate near than the previous one and the angiographic one. As you see, we are spending the time we need with, with this part because it's a crucial point of the procedure. Yes, we are checking the landing zone and also the ostium um, because we um, always try to to. Uh, to occlude the, the marshal with the disc. This is another controversial point because with some devices as Watchman, as you know, you are not occluding uh, never the, the, um, the marshal. We have um, reviewed our cases um, uh, with Amulet in which we have covered the marshal and uh, compared them with the cases in which we didn't cover it and we have no difference. So we try, we still try to cover the, the Marshall with the disc, but if we don't cover it, we are not uh, concerned uh, about that. Okay, my colleagues outside the cat lab in the control room are checking again the the uh, sizes of the sheath and the uh, devices with these measurements 18 by 18 more or less that i think by heart that is a 22 device that goes through a 12 french sheath Probably we can prepare the, the sheath if uh, Guillermo. Okay, so we can prepare the, the 12 French sheath because we're going to use the 22 device, no? Okay, Ruben, give us the, the sheath, please. The sheath. Okay, so we are preparing the sheet. The first thing before advancing the extra super wire. Choose. Sacate de la mascarilla, de la mascarilla. Okay, so we before retrieving the transectal sheath, we are preparing the, the seat of the device. That you know is a conventional sheath with a dilator and, and a proper sheath. Guillermo is thinking that the the um, from a twenty five uh, millimeters device and bigger, we need a 14 French sheath, but we are sure, or I am almost sure, we are not uh, needing uh, a bigger device than 22. So we are going through the 12 se French sheath. Okay. Hmm. Ah, sí. Okay, so we are preparing everything before. I don't know if the camera can uh, focus on the on the preparation of the device. Thank you. So the, the device, as you can see, is pre-mounted. Is it easier for us to prepare? Just explain it. So eh, the first thing is uh, to um, secure all the connections to be sure there is not air on it.
y hemos pushing the device to the tip of the introducer and then I'm going to maintain it inside the water and Guillermo is going to flash all the ports of the three ways stopcock and also the the Y key okay it's almost impossible to remove all the air and to I know if the camera is, yeah, I think so. So he's doing some negative pressures, pushing, pulling several times. And we are looking, confirming that there is no uh, air bubbles inside the, the water. The last movement is, is pulling, close the stopcock, and we have prepared the, the device. So we are going to advance the, the extra super wire. El TCA está bien, chicas. El, el TCA? La que tú quieras. 200? 230, Alfonso. Tenemos que subir la parina, ¿no? 350, ¿no? 300. Podemos bajar la luz ya un poquito. So you see the compression of the appendage. That is another part, another thing to consider. Sí, no ruido similar. Adiós. No hagas esa mojada, por favor. So Guillermo is retrieving the pigtail, maintaining the the wire inside the appendage if we can. Yes, que suena bien. Y que no, que no hagan ruido. En el pulmonar y en el upper vein, as I told you before, because of safety reasons. Voy a estirar la que se acuesta. We have to remove the transeptal sheath, We're trying to maintain the, the wire there. So I'm going to compress the femoral vein, and Guillermo is going to retrieve the sheath. Maintaining the position of the wire. And we do this only when the sheath of the device is prepared. Okay, I have the wire. Chush, tira del. Rubén, ¿puedes cerrar aquella puerta, por favor? Okay, so we are going to advance the, the sheath of the device, 20 different sheath. It's another important part, looking the, the angio, maintaining the wire there. Okay, it's easy to advance. If not, we check the, the groin. I think I'm going, I am advancing easily, Guillermo. This is a very good projection because we see the sheath and also the tip of the wire. And advancing here, you always need to rotate a little bit to advance. So we are advancing through the septum and we are here. So advance a little bit counterclockwise to cross the septum. I'm crossing, so I'm going to retrieve a little bit the dilator, a little bit, and advancing the sheath inside the appendage. Leo, estoy en la orejuela. Just check in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you're in. So I'm going to retrieve the dilator and also the wire maintaining the sheath inside the appendage. Okay. Probably I am touching the, the wall. Okay, there. Okay, perfect. So we are advancing now the device. We are connecting. We are connecting with water here. Okay. Okay. So, 
some people advance it directly. Okay. Guillermo always check there is no error inside the system. You can see, I don't know if you can see, but it is back bleeding in the in the sheath. Okay. We are working in this projection in the cranial view because we think this is the, the best one. Choose, choose. We are advancing the device. Seguramente está muy avanzada la vaina. No, okay, okay. Guillermo Hapche, contraste, ¿no? Voy a retirarme un poco. ¿eh? Es que estoy muy metido, ¿eh? So we are deep inside the, the atrium and Guillermo is pulling the lobe outside the sheath. We are very deep in the in the appendage, but it's, I think I would say to to go back. Leo, you yes. can. Retirar un poco, ¿no? Yes. Pero go back a little bit. Un, un test, choose. Mm, a little bit. Probably is there the, the landing zone. Yes. Yes. Okay. So Guillermo is doing the maneuver, advancing the, the device and retrieving the sheath. I am maintaining the counterclockwise. Okay, sí, sí, mantiene. Yes, seems, seems, seems right. No está un poco fuera. No, no. no. Yo creo que no. no. En el plano de la derecha digo. Okay, let's try to advance the. Le digo porque está en ritmo sinusal y en el plano de la derecha ves que está el ras. ¿eh? Ves el, eh, uno de los lados. Yes, I think I think it's it's in a, it's it's in a in a in a good zone. In a good zone, okay. Yes. So we're going to try to open the the disc. Guillermo is pulling back the sheath and pulling the system. Look the angel. I'm maintaining the position of the wire, the sheath. Sorry, and this is the disc. And Okay, oh, I think it's a very good position there. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It seems right. So we have to check it. Circumflex. We don't have ECG. Yeah, there. It doesn't take the, the Marshall. Yeah. Guillermo is going to confirm the... Uh, the talk test. The device. It's not moving with the tack test. Okay. You can see a very aggressive one. And the device Seems is stable, very good. Guillermo? Yes. Okay. The device is stable in the echo, in the angio, the filling also. So let's check with echo. And if yes. you agree, we can... Yeah. It, seems, it seems okay. It seems okay? Yeah. yeah. For now, let's deliver the device. I don't know if the camera can uh, show this. This is a torque, just to do some movements uh, counterclockwise to uh, freeze the. We need to open the key. Mm -hmm. This is very nice. You see the, the screw, and now I know why it's some, sometimes it's happened that the, the device is not being apart from the screw. Yeah. Are you sure it's maintaining the Probably, yeah. So in the extent, okay. Yes, okay, so the device is delivered. Let's check again with everything, but I think everything is okay in the echo, at least in the angel. 
Hemodynamics. Yeah. No leaks, apparent. Uh -huh. ¿No has cogido el Marshall? No, por debajo, ¿no? Justo. Por debajo, ¿no? Sí, sí. Is, the, is the thing, the debate we have told before, we are below the Marshall, yeah. but there is no, no leak. And probably to, to cover the Marshall, we need a, a very big disk, another device that is does not fit with the landing zone. Um, so of, you have two options, uh, choose a, a specific device with different sizes of the load and, and the disk, or not cover the, not covering the Marshall, that is a good option. Uh, and is the thing you are doing with a Watchman device, for example, uh, with no no issues. Okay, we are done. Okay. So we are we are retrieving um, the the sheath, the PA projection, el avanzador prolay, por favor. And as I told you before, we are closing with one proglide, in a syringe with water. Okay. Okay, I have the blue one. The feeling with the proglide, with this proglide was a little bit strange, so probably we have to <laughs> compress uh, after that. But it is a vein, so we decided not to not to advance a second proglide. Espera, 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 Guillermo. Okay, you can retrieve it. Okay, the seat is out, and the proglide, I think, is working. So we are going to close it, and I think we are done. So thank you for being with us, and we see you in the second in the second case. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you.